day, 10 years ago, the Chicago Cubs retired Ryan Sandberg's jersey number, which was number 23. Pretty cool, 10 years ago. Decade. Yeah. My dad's favorite player. He remembers nice. that day very well. Brand new episode of Northside Manor. I'm Michael. I'm Gabriella. And we have a great one. Yeah, let's get right into it. So we swept the Braves. Woo! Friday, we won 5-3. to three. Coglin homered and Bryant and Montero doubled. Saturday, we won 9-7. to seven. Rizzo, Montero, Russell, Soler, they all homered. Brian and Miggy doubled. Sunday, you ready for this I'm one? I'm ready. We won 9-3. Fowler, Schwarber, Montero, they all homered. But let's not forget our savior, Chris Bryant, hitting two home runs that night. Awesome. And then Monday, we had a makeup game against Cleveland. We won 2-1. to one. Rizzo tripled to score Cogs and Bryant again. Hit a walk-off homer. Unbelievable. <laughs> I was going absolutely nuts. And then we go on to the San Francisco series. Tuesday we won 8-5. to five. Schwarber, Montero, Castro, they all home run. Hit a home run. And, yes, I did say Castro. <laughs> He's on a hot streak. <laughs> he is. So Wednesday we did lose 2-4. to four. Bryant did double, he, which scored Cogs and Schwarber. And then Thursday... Oh, absolutely horrible. We lost one to nine, but Castro brought in our only run with a double. He brought in Rizzo and Denorfia. He stopped an inside the park home run, but we did win the series, the season series against the Giants five to two, which is awesome because they are the reigning. We got to witness a game. Yeah, and they are the reigning World Series champions. Yes, so. they are. Now we're headed to LA for a three-game series. They play tonight at 9-10 versus Hamill, who is 7-5, versus Kershaw, who is 10-6. Saturday they play at 8-10 with Lester, who is 8-9, versus Latos, who is 4-7. Sunday, 7-05 game, our ace, Arietta, is pitching, who is 16-6, versus Wood, who is 2-2. Two two. So let's get into some Cubs news. Lots going on with the Cubs. Yes. So Schwarber is the first Cubs player within the modern era to hit 12 home runs within his first 42 games, and he led off on Wednesday. He's just killing it. He's a beast. Awesome. He's such a power hitter. Yes. The Cubs are making headlines, <laughs> literally making headlines. <laughs> they were recently on the Sports Illustrated cover. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this magazine. No, not yet. I mean, <laughs> This is a pretty big deal for the Cubs. It is. People are talking about how there's a jinx that, or curse that comes along with being on the Sports Illustrated cover. I don't buy it. The yeah. Cubs, they're playing good baseball right now, so... Yeah, a lot of people think it's real because of what happened in the Giants series, but... If you guys haven't, definitely grab a copy of this. These I grabbed the last three, so this is one of the three that we have. <laughs> Definitely get your hands on one if you can. It's four ninety nine for the U.S. <laughs> and five ninety nine if you live in Canada. <laughs> but um, that's just really amazing. Yeah. You haven't been on there for quite some I, time now. Yeah, when I heard that news, I was going crazy. That's awesome. Yes. And I'm going to frame that. That's my copy that Michael got me. I'm going to frame that, and I'll never forget when that. And that's uh, Brian's uh, walk off yes. home run. Speaking of walk offs. That was our 12th walk-off win this season. Three more than any other team. So good. <laughs> We're, uh, it's just amazing that we lead the MLB in so many things. I know. It's Unbelievable. nice to hear for once. Yes. So, <laughs> but, well, something that's not nice yeah, to hear. Yeah. Soler and Mott are on the 15-day DL. Tommy LaStella and Zach Roscup are recalled from Iowa. Another pretty cool thing is that we did get Emilio Benefacio back. Yeah. I've liked him. I've always liked yeah, him. Yeah, I liked him. So it's good to have him back in a Cubs uniform. So some baby news. Addison Russell, the little 21-year-old, had a baby recently. So congrats to Addison Russell. It's a baby boy. So that was pretty. That was happy news. Yes. He did miss the game the other night yeah. to be there for the birth of his child, which is That's, good for him. Yeah, good for him. But he's back with us, so we're happy to have him back. David Ross is to miss three to seven days after being placed on the family medical emergency list 
outfielder Matt Caesar is recalled from AAA. I feel like he's always being yeah, recalled feel, He's getting, getting a lot of flyer miles. <laughs> he is, he is. So, Michael, what are your thoughts on... Trade him. I didn't even say his name yet. Oh, I thought we were talking about Castro. No, I'm not talking about Castro. I'm talking about, you know, this guy named Javier Baez. Bring him up. Bring <laughs> that guy up. Is it his time? It is. It is his time. I agree. I've been waiting all season for him to play with Chris Bryant and Russell. Like, I just want to see them all together on that field. I, I mean, last year he did have... Quite a few strikeouts, yeah. but I think this year and everything that he's gone through with re-injuring his thumb, his sister passing away, re then re re-injuring <laughs> his thumb, I think it. You know, he's he's back to himself. If not, he's better. He's yeah. gonna be a stud. Yeah, and he's been hitting a lot. I've seen so. Thirteen or fourteen game hitting streak yeah. in Iowa. So hopefully he can bring that to the majors yes. for the Cubs. We need that going into the postseason. So. Talking about postseason, we did pick up or trade for Fernando Rodney. Was traded to the Cubs for a player to be announced later or a cash offer. He did play with Joe Madden a few years ago, so they'll have chemistry together. Yeah. And Joe Madden wanted an egoless bullpen. Yeah, but I feel like he has faith in Rodney, so we'll see. I mean, our pitching our, you know, end of the bullpen. Hasn't been doing too good. Hendricks is good. He just hasn't been consistent. Exactly. And neither has Hamill. So I feel like there's only so many pitchers we can count on, and we just need more, especially tr as we go yes. into this, as we're trying to win and go far. Him, Rodney, and Jason Mott are the only ones with a lot of playoff experience. Mm -hmm. What, 29 games combined? Yeah. Everyone else has 12. Yeah, and Mod is gone right now, yes. so we need him back soon, hopefully. Your around the league news break. The Phillies plan to extend a protective net along the baselines so fans do not get hit with balls and bats. Rockies DJ LeMahieu is the first player to hit in every single spot in the lineup this season. A-Rod is being sued by his former brother-in-law for a hundred million dollars. Yasiel Puig's injury is worse than it expected. He has re-injured his calf. He will be out for an extended period of time. We do not know the timetable for his return. That's good for the Cubs in this series in LA this weekend. Jessica Mendoza is the first female broadcaster on ESPN to call a major league game. She did it the other night. She did a very excellent job broadcasting the game. Kurt Schilling, the Major League Baseball Hall of Famer and broadcaster, is in a lot of trouble after his racist comments the other day. He has been pulled from Monday Night Baseball and the Little League World Series. You can go check out the full story and what he said at MLB.com. Time for a segment we like to call Madden's Madness. So Joe Madden has changed the lineup on us a little bit. We were all a little confused. Denorfia was leading off. Then there was Schwarber leading off. Then we had the pitcher batting ninth. It's not like him. He was switching it up on us. Also, Chris Bryant was in right field. I don't know, it's just madness. So Michael. Yeah? Play of the week. You ever seen a panda fall from a tree? Probably not. You ever seen Pablo Sandoval body slam a tarp? I actually did the other night. That's your play of the week. Pablo Sandoval pretty much body slammed the field tarp at the cell the other night against the White Sox. Pretty funny. Uh, I mean, uh, there, there were a lot of other plays to pick from, but just the way his body was, <laughs> you'll laugh at it for sure. Now, Gabby. Yeah? Who's your player of the week? Well, first of all, I didn't know if you were going to agree with me this week. Probably not. I never do. <laughs> so, my player of the week. Yeah. Drum roll. Can you turn around for me? No. Please? Fine. Starlin Castro! Michael's favorite player. Not really, but he has a jersey, so 
I had to use them today. <laughs> but anyway, Sarlin Castro, he was a triple shy of the cycle. And he was, he had a double yesterday. Very nice. He also hit a home run the other day. And he's been just playing very good after being benched. I think that's what he needed. He's been showing that, I don't know, he just has a good attitude lately. He's not upset that he's not at shortstop anymore. And he's just been dealing what he's been given. So I think he's been doing a good job. Yeah, he has been. I take back <laughs> a lot that I've said. I mean, I still would like to trade him. We can definitely get someone better. But as of right now, he has been playing great baseball. And I'm glad to see the old Starlin back. Yeah, all Starlin. Ah. <laughs> all right, Michael. Tomorrow, it is Saturday. It is August 29th. And August 29th, 2002, Mark Bellhorn becomes the second player in all of Major League Baseball to hit a home run from both sides of the plate in the same in inning. In the same inning. That was awesome. Yes. So we're going to leave you guys with that. This is a brand new episode of Northside Manor. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And go Cubs! Quickly.